Good morning, everyone. So it's day two of the bike packing at Sunrise Mountain. Just woke up, um, so let's go over the sleeping bag. All right, so first of all, I can say that uh, it held up all night, and although it's not a Tempur-Pedic, obviously, um, it didn't do too bad, so it stayed up. The only issue I was really having throughout the night that I found was that, uh, so because of how wide it is, um, I'm a side sleeper, so I don't know if a lot of you are or not, but I kept finding that I would push my hip over, kind of like over the edge, and so I'd be laying on the on the ground while the rest of my body was on the pad. Uh, the pillow part of it actually wasn't too bad. Um, my neck doesn't hurt this morning. I had support there. Um, the issue came in because I'm on a slight incline, and my my feet are kind of like facing downhill, so with the sleeping bag um being as slippery as it is i would end up i kept sliding down so i had to keep pushing myself up all the time during the night so uh but not not that big of a deal i'm not on that much of an incline but i was still um like i said it, the sleeping bag is is really slippery so it kept just kind of like over as i moved throughout the night i guess i, I just kept kind of moving down and had to keep moving myself back up so, uh, the sleeping bag, it's warm, and I have kind of a love-hate relationship going on with it now, right now, uh, with it right now, because it's, it's really warm, so it kept me, it kept me warm, that's not an issue at all with the sleeping bag, however, because of the material that it's made out of, like I said, it's kind of like a garbage bag material, I guess, um, I'd wake up sweating a lot. And I mean that's a good thing. It definitely works. It keeps you warm, but um, it's uh, you have to keep kind of repositioning and opening up the flap, you know, around your head to kind of let some of the cool air in through the night. So I ended up waking up a lot and then going back to sleep and waking up a lot. So, uh, but yeah, I started out in my in my base layer last night and I had to uh, to take those off because it was just I was I was really really hot. And that's after I went to bed. I turned off the, the little camp stove. And it was 33 degrees last night. So um, as far as the warmth of the warmth of the sleeping bag. Um, I'm a little pot out here. I'm getting ready to cook some breakfast. But So as warm as the... Uh, the it's very warm, the sleeping bag. So it, it does its job. Like I said, the only thing is the material that's made out of it, there's no like cloth in it to kind of keep you from sweating inside of it. So um, that's that's a good thing because it definitely does its job. It keeps you warm. Like I said, I was sweating. It was 33 degrees and I, I was sweating in the thing. So so anyway, that's uh, that's my first night in the bag and on the pad. The tent's great. So obviously um, it says it's four season and didn't really notice it last night but getting up this morning so here so you got this inside layer here and once you zip up the outside you actually you have the outside layer also so when you open this door I was expecting it to be really really cold because I had to step out when I first woke up this morning I had to step out and uh, go to the, use the restroom but um, I, I noticed that when I opened that zipper is when all the cold air really came in and so that extra layer really really helps so 
so yeah there it is uh camera seems to be focusing a lot better today there's some light so but as far as the uh the sleeping pad like i said the sleeping pads pad seems to be pretty good it, it, it held the air it didn't it didn't deflate any at all and as long as you're laying flight on your back it's comfortable um you can it's not too bad um see these see these uh, squares here so as long as you kind of position your hip if you're going to sleep on your side if you position your hip where it's on one of the on one of these air squares um you know it it seems to work pretty good and honestly i i've, I've slept on pads before and i know that you know the the ones that just kind of flat sponge type that lay on the floor i wake up with my back hurting pretty much every time and today wasn't too bad so i woke up you know my had those little aches and pains from writing uh yesterday but as far as the actual sleeping pad sleeping on it was uh was not too bad and it for for what it is i think it did a good job so i don't know if you want to call that a review or not but that is my experience with the sleeping pad and the sleeping bag the sleeping bag is hot so um yeah, it'll keep you definitely definitely keep you warm down to at least 33 degrees because that's what it was last night So I was sweating in it. So if you want a nice down sleeping bag um, Just hit me up if you want me to post a link on it, but uh, It's the Terra Something I can't remember so I'm not gonna try to remember right now But if you uh, if you want me to send you the link for it, I will All right um, I'm gonna get some breakfast and uh, take a take a little uh, wet nap bath, and then uh, I'll get back with you later. Bye. So this is gonna be breakfast: uh, chicken flavored fried rice from Noor. And said to use the whole package with one and three quarters cups of water. And I don't know how much water I put in there, so I didn't put quite the whole bag, but. I'll bring that to a boil, cover it, and we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, that smells so good right now too. On another note, the uh, steak is thawed out this morning. I had it in the tent with me last night, so uh, it's still cold, but it's thawed. So let me put it in the refrigerator. Put it right out there with the water to keep it cold because it's still in the 30s right now so <laughs> it's perfect so the rice is coming along good um i'm really happy with that little camp stove um that burner is great i've got it actually all the way down right now that's the lowest setting and it's still putting out a lot of heat so i'm having to keep the keep an eye on the rice and um just vent it a little bit so it doesn't uh boil over I can't turn it down any more than that but um, as they see it's down its lowest setting there so anyway a few more minutes on the rice and I'll be eating breakfast all right so here we are I'm just letting it cool down now but uh, rice is all done and it smells delicious I haven't tasted it yet I'm just letting it cool down um, but yeah, so that's going to be breakfast, and then steak is going to be lunch. So, I've been sitting here thinking, I was supposed to go to the lake this morning, um, but I just got here last night. I got three, I got four days actually, I could go back on Sunday if I wanted to, but I was planning on going back on Saturday. But, since I got here so late last night, and I've got all of the, um, the wood and the charcoal and uh, the two gallons of water, I've used a little bit of water now, so... I'm down to like one and three quarters gallons of water and both my water bottles on the bike are still full too but uh you know i figured i'm just gonna stay here for the day and then i'll go to the lake tomorrow i want to kind of enjoy the site and like i said i got here late last night so basically it was set up camp and uh get ready for bed so i'm gonna stay here today and then tomorrow uh, i'll be leaving to go to lake mead so that will that will uh, provide me some time to get rid of that firewood or burn off that firewood and the charcoal. I ended up buying a big bag of charcoal only because I went to a Walmart neighborhood store 
um, on the way out here when I was doing the the recon for the site, and that's all they had was that big bag of uh, of the um, self lighting charcoal. Uh, so anyway, I ended up buying that, and that's a lot of charcoal, and I don't want to waste it, and I don't, I can't carry it. Obviously, it's going to be too heavy. So, uh, excuse me. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna sit here today, and then tomorrow morning uh, I'll pack up and head to Lake Mead. So I'm gonna have breakfast, and then. Um, Go do some other stuff, and I'll get back with you. Hey, everyone. All right, so uh, ate breakfast, uh, took a wet nap bath, and um, just kind of sitting here in the tent right now. But I was uh, I was looking at the weather report, and it's supposed to be pretty windy today. So it says uh, sustained winds of 25 to 30 miles per hour and uh, gust up to 40. So I'm going to have to go ahead and put those other tent stakes down and then uh, secure everything on the tent and it's actually starting to get windy now as you can see that's why I looked at the weather report I was like what's going on with the wind now um, but so I'm gonna step out and I'm gonna go ahead and stake everything down nice and tight and uh, go from there all right so I got everything staked off now and I'm just hold it hoping that the the stakes will hold because this this ground is really soft so I've got this one you can see how much it it's still moving and I tried to see two or three different spots so I'm just gonna hope that one holds the other one on the other side fortunately there's this little bush over here so I was able to tie off to this one and this one here this one's nice and tight and so I staked down the rest of the corners um, yeah so I'm I'm just hoping that'll hold. I got all the gear in there too, so I can kind of spread it out inside on all the corners to help hold the tent down. And uh, if I need to, I got all these rocks over here to help in the corners. Because um, 40 mile an hour wind gusts are pretty high, so I'm just hoping that um, you know it, the tent don't go anywhere. So I'm probably it's still early. I already ate breakfast, and. Uh, if it's going to be that windy though, I think I should go ahead and cook the steak now because I'm going to have a hard time with the fire and the flame um, trying to trying to cook in that kind of wind. And it's uh, starting to get a little gusty right now. It's not too bad, um, but you can see see the bushes moving a little bit there. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up the grill and uh, go ahead and cook that steak. Alright, so I got the grill set up and my dumbass forgot to buy or to bring a, a lighter. so have to do this kind of old-fashioned way here hopefully this will work come on you yes and that's the way I got the grill set up steak will go either this way or this way not sure yet probably just laid across there so but I'm gonna let the coals go ahead and burn and uh, get nice and hot and then I'll put the steak on there All right, so while I'm letting the fire warm up over there for the steak, uh, I went ahead and pulled out my my battery pack, and I used it last night to charge my iPhone. No, my I don't have an iPhone. Uh, my my Note. So I used it last night to charge that up, and you can see right now it's got all the panels open, and it looks like I only used one bar. So it is. I don't know if you see it flashing, but that last one there is actually. <clears throat> is it flashing or is it full nope it's flashing all right so that's better couldn't see it flashing but anyway yeah it's charging up now so i'll let it sit out here it charges at one and a half amps so um with all the panels open so we'll use that to uh charge my phone and the gopro which is still on the bike over there and uh the other battery pack I got to get that plugged in so I'll let that charge up tonight and uh, be good for batteries all right so <clears throat> the coals are almost done <clears throat> and I had the grill on there trying to burn off whatever coating or anything that could be on there I don't want that getting on the steak so I'm just letting it cool off a second now and got a towel and I'll just wipe it down and then put it back on there okay so the grills ready to go 
and it's been wiped down got the steak over here ready to go and I'm gonna season it up for that I'm gonna use Kinder's uh, salt pepper and garlic this stuff is really really good I use this at home so let's go ahead and season it up Oh yeah. Should be just about right. And put that over there. Alright. I'm gonna wipe my fingers off and then go ahead and toss it on the grill. Get all the goodies from here on the side. this is to do with one hand once again I should have used my stand but I'm so used to doing it this way all right that's good enough all right, let's go ahead and lay it on there oh yeah listen to that sizzle all right let that side cook up and then I'll flip it over all right just about done a few more minutes and uh you'll be great should be about medium rare. All right, steak's done. I let it rest about 10 minutes, so um, it should be nice and juicy now. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut into it. All right. Really looking forward to this. This was like my whole, um, when I got to my camping spot, I'm gonna be cooking this steak thing, and uh, so here we are. Okay, that's more of a medium, so that's all good. <laughs> that was so good. All right, I'm gonna finish enjoying this and uh, get back to you later. Whew. All right, so <clears throat> I ate about half of it. As you see, it came out medium. So I was shooting for medium rare, but I'm happy with medium. So I'm gonna save that for dinner. I did bring some Ziploc bags with me somewhere here. I gotta find them, but I'll put it in there. And then uh, when I, if, depending on how windy it is tonight, um, I do another campfire, then um, I can just warm it up on the grill. I'm hoping the wind is picking up, as you can see. So I got a feeling I'm going to be spending most of the day. There's a plane going over right now. I got a feeling I'll be spending most of the day uh, making sure the tent doesn't fly away. But I've got the, the big water bottle, so... I've got that one, I've got this one right out here, so I, I can put those in the corners. Uh, that's, even though the bags are kind of empty, they're still got some weight to them, so that's gonna keep that corner down fine. Put a water bottle over here, and then I put another water bottle in the other corner. So, uh, that, that's what's going on right now, and it's about, what time is it? It is uh, almost 10.30 in the morning. And it's a trek, if it falls over, it'll, it can handle it.